<clears throat> Parallels are everywhere in life. Comparing one player to another, noticing how similar their careers are, like how Ant is the next Michael Jordan, but also parallels are in fiction, and these are on command. Anyone can make a parallel in fiction. But anyway, today we will be comparing athletes to anime. Now some of you guys may ask, uh, how will this work? I just want to say, just, just, just watch the video and you'll get the vibe. Alright, let's begin. First up, we got Hunter x Hunter 2, Megatron, and Shaq. Now, the reason why is that both these dudes, all these participants, are generally the upper tier. The upper tier and some of the greatest in their respective, respective like, thing, right? If the careers fully happened, they would have been to go. If Megatron didn't get injured, this dude, bro, this dude Megatron, bro, Prime Megatron, you could triple team this dude, quadruple team this dude, and no one would stop him. Everyone knew what was going to happen, but no one could stop him, right? Then Shaq, if this, bro, Prime Shaq was genuinely unstoppable, no one comes close to it. If he play, if he played with Kobe, bro, and stopped being a fat bum, a fat bum, this dude would have been averaging 30 points per game, 10 rebounds, 8 blocks, no, 15 rebounds, 8 blocks, easy. Then, oh, Megatron, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, 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 Hunter x Hunter. This show, bro, Hunter x Hunter is generally regarded with a lot of people, top five of all time, right? If this dude would actually, if, it, if his ad would actually get the writing, though, <laughs> if this guy could actually finish the show, instead of dropping these two chapters, Bro, this show would have been the GOAT. And no one, no one judges you for putting in your top five, right? It's a little crazy. It's the same with Shaq and Megatron. No one judges you for putting in your top five, right? But if you put them on, you're a little crazy. But it's always widely regarded the top five, top ten ranges, right? And this is why I think it's a good comparison. Oh, what? What is that play? Now, second. <laughs> second. Uh, ooh, let's get it started. Let's get it started. Mega me <laughs> and Justin Fields. Why? Oh my gosh. Let, let me uh, don't let me get started with Mega me. For just the potential of Mega me is limitless. This dude had Magarena. Nah, nah. Potential for Sukuna? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Me bro, Mega Me is washed. <laughs> he's washed. He's never done anything. He's never, he's never really done anything. Then when he got cooking, when, when he started cooking, he sold the series. He sold the series. He sold the ending. Right? Oh, it's okay. He be if he learned Magaraga, he would be nah. He ain't gonna learn Magaraga, bro. He is never gonna come close to beating Maharaga. Let's just drop that. Then, okay, then, then we then we, oh, oh, you think I'm just heated up? Then we got Justin Fields. Woo, woo. Just, just it's all it's all it's just the team Fields, right? But I don't care what y'all Glazers say. This y'all, Mega Me Glazers are annoying. These Justin Fields fans. These Justin. Oh my gosh, have you heard them? Y'all, y'all, y'all see one dude who can run fast. Now he's the goat. Now he just need to throw. Like that's not the job. That's like that's not the job of the quarterback to be a good thrower. But but it's just a team around him. He got sacked. Bro, nah, nah. Too much time. Too much time. And let me let me let me be honest. Caleb Williams is already better than him, and are always will be potential. Get out of here with that, brother. Blow up, basically. All right, fourth. I don't know if I said the number on the last one, but fourth we got Sanji, Zaya Williamson, and Deshaun Watson. Why? <laughs> These dudes are grade A freakazoids.
Bro, Sanji, Sanji literally stopped, stopped the whole crew and made a whole arc because this dude got so horny. Hey, this dude came and he literally couldn't get back up. He was passed out. Even Chopper couldn't save, bro. They need to go to the bottom of the ocean. This dude is peak horny. But did Zion <laughs> need I say more? Why are you so beautiful? And oh, oh, oh! I, I I've never seen pinnacle horniness till now. Just look at look at the look at the angle. Look how he's looking. Look look how his pelvis is projected forward, ready for it. This come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. You got all this. Just lock in once, bro. Please look at this. Oh my gosh. Now fifth, this is a little weak. I ain't gonna lie. This this comparison might be a little weak. It might be stretching it. Might be stretching it. I could. I I just had to say something, right? But fifth, we got Donzo and John Jones. Why? These dudes are genuinely pure evil. I don't care, bro. First of all, there is no reason why you should be a John Jones fan or a Donzo fan. Donzo, bro. First of all, Donzo is like the pure the purest scoundrel you could possibly get right this dude literally like waited for kids to grow up to steal their like who who does this he's like oh it's just to protect the village nah bruh <laughs> you are you're evil you're an evil person you're an evil spirit right then this, okay john jones john jones is a man i literally would it i would be scared to be in a room with them right and it's like oh he's, he's a good guy he just got he just got his demons <laughs> oh these, de these demons he got these demons coming inside him but pause <laughs> these demons he got nah this nah, <laughs> all this stuff this dude if he's not fighting in the ring he's if he's not fighting in the ring he's fighting someone else <laughs> i'll say that this dude's done a lot of things got passed by it because he's the best fighter in the world if you're the best fighter in the world, shouldn't be only shouldn't you only be fighting fighters? <laughs> shouldn't you only be fighting fighters? All right, my case rests. Now, finally, a final one. We got Kid Boo and Draymond Green. I'm gonna have to be a little, a little more careful because I'm looking around. Because these dudes, they're crash outs. First, first let's talk about Kid Boo, right? I mainly want to talk about Draymond Boo. We're going to talk about Kid Boo, right? This dude slid on his ops, right? Smoked him. Bow, bow, bow. All the, all, all the attacks, crazy, right? First of all, just randomly pulling up, killing him immediately is already scary, right? Already scary. That's crash out level. Right, but they, they in heaven, right? They're like, whoo, whoo. Then <laughs> Kid Boo goes to heaven, goes to heaven, and spun on him again. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, what? What? Is this not crazy? Is something rocking in your head? This is scary. This is this is not normal. This is not even villainous. This is this is this is this this succeeds normal villainry. This is on uh this is kid boot. This is crash out level. This is crazy. Now Draymond, Draymond straight straight up doesn't care, bro. I don't I, I I don't I don't know. It's like sad and scary. All right. Di okay. Let's just let's begin. Right. This dude Draymond was in the game. Right. I think it might have been a playoff game playing. I know the game was important, right? So they jogging down the field. I don't know what happened. They got they got a little they got they got a little little scuffle, right? Uh, Devontae Sabonis went down, I believe, right? The ball, right? So did Draymond. Both Draymond and Devontae uh, are down. Draymond gets up. No, no, no. I think it was just. All right, it doesn't matter. Sabonis was on the ground, right? Draymond's up, right? Typically, you know, if you're a good dude, you help him up, 
if you're not, you won't, you won't help them up. It doesn't matter, right? You just help them up. You don't. But the ball was live, so you actually shouldn't help them up. Just the ball was live, so you had to go on the other side of the court, right? Instead of helping them up, this dude, or you could have, you could, you could have even walked over him. You could have walked over him. That's what you're supposed to do. You walk over him, you go to the other side. Instead of helping him up, this dude, Draymond. This dude, Draymond, jumps up and stomps another man in the chest. Mind you, in an important game, stomps another man that is on the ground, helpless, in the chest for no apparent reason. Why? Why? And He's not skinny. He's not short. He's very big. And then <laughs> he, he he jumped up. And why? Then oh my gosh, another incident. Loses the ball, sprints down, and tackles him. <laughs> Am I saying this too? Like, is this okay? Get this man out the league. Then what's it called? He snuck, he literally snuck somebody like it's a street game. <clears throat> Punch him in the face. So overall, stay away from these dudes, please. Alright, what's up guys? Um, hope you liked that video. I'm gonna try to make better content, more stuff involving the script. This is just a start, so it's a little rough, you can see. It's just a little software limitations, but... You know, we got some more videos, more stuff planned, right? I always got planned stuff. Should I drop? Uh, Alright, leaked next video. Next video is either going to be why I quit football or or more like essay content. Or some more essay, but that's going to take a lot a lot longer if I was going to do an essay. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. If you liked it, liked it. If you disliked it, liked it. If you don't like it, like it. And subscribe, like it. Yeah, yeah.